today I'm going to show you all how to offset any kind of pattern in Adobe Illustrator and I'm also going to show you how you can use any color palette in Adobe Illustrator. Sometimes the colors are kind of limited and you can import any kind of color scheme that you want to based on the method I'm going to show you. So right now I just have this design and I've already offset it once and right here you'll just see me merging shapes together or the letters together um, to create one shape and I'm going to offset the background again so we're going to go to object path offset path and you can choose the how much you want to offset it by entering a number into that box and so now once I offset it I have to ungroup the two shapes and right now I'm just changing the color to just a different color and then you'll see me import another color palette here because this is not the color that I want to use so I'll show you how you can get inspiration from different images in Canva and use the same color palette that you get from Canva in Adobe Illustrator so right here I'm just making sure everything looks good putting it on top of each other and again I want to use different colors and we'll go back into Canva to get some color inspiration here. So now I'm back in Canva and I typed in 80s. I was looking for like more of an 80s style color scheme and I eventually found this flower and I wanted that color scheme. So I'll show you all how I get this into Adobe Illustrator. I'm just increasing the size and now I will do a screenshot and I'm just resizing that. And once I screenshot this flower, I'm just going to place it in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go back to Adobe Illustrator. We're going to go to File, then Place. I'm going to find my screenshot in my Recents, and I'm just going to place it. And that's all we have to do to get it into Adobe Illustrator. Next, we want to copy the color scheme. So I'm going to click on whatever part of my image that I want to change the color of. And then we'll go to that little dropper there and we're going to click on the color that we want to change it to and it'll automatically pull that color from the Canva image. So I want to do the next one and I change that color and then lastly we're going to change the very back. And I'm going to use my dropper again and we're going to change it to that color. So this is the color scheme that I kind of wanted. And you can take any image and kind of use it as inspiration for colors that you want to use. And this is a good way to just find a good color palette or color scheme. And if you all have any questions, just make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And next, what I like to do, I just like to make sure my images and files work properly or show up properly so I'm going to save this file as a PNG first so I'm going to go to file export export as and then we're going to just save this as a PNG then next you'll see me save it as a DXF file and an SVG and those are the three file types that I like to save so you'll see me do that and at the end, I will import the SVG file into Cricut. That's how I like to make sure my SVG files look okay and they just will work properly. So this is me just saving the files. And I like to do videos that are helpful to people. So if you can think of any things you would like to learn how to do in Adobe Illustrator or Canva or Design Space and Cricut, just let me know. And I can try my best to make a video on something that you would like to learn about. I'm always curious to know what people want to learn about and what would be useful to them. So if you come up with any ideas, just put them in the comment section below. So now we're in Cricut. I'm just going to delete this little image I have in there and I'm going to upload my SVG that I just exported from Adobe Illustrator. And I just want to make sure the SVG looks okay and it'll cut properly. So I'm just finding that file. 
and here we go so we have it and we want to import and there's my file so I just want to look at each layer and just make sure it looks okay I didn't miss any like spots that may cut weird on a Cricut machine and I just take a look at each level there of my SVG so this is just to ensure that you have good quality files and that they will work okay when you try to import them into different programs so it looks okay to me and that's pretty much it and that's my process of offsetting patterns using different color schemes and then checking my files to make sure they look okay if you have any questions like i said leave them below thank you for watching